So good morning from the greenhouse. So today I am going to experiment with something different. So I have sheep and they've recently been shorn and I want to try and use the fleece in as many ways as I can around the farm. I've been trying peat free compost on my seeds and I'm just finding that the peat free just hasn't got the same capabilities. The stuff's not growing as well and the soil is drying out quite quickly. So I've actually got some alpaca fleece here and some sheep fleece and I'm going to try and sow some seeds. So let's see how they get on. Gone are the days where farmers can make money out of selling fleece for wool. It's just not worth anything. It actually costs them money to get them sheared. So most of them would be really grateful for you to pay a few pounds to buy the fleece off of them. I'm hoping this is going to be a cheaper option than buying compost in to sow your seeds. Into one of my reusable trays, I am putting my alpaca wool. Now you will find later in the video that watering on top wasn't necessarily the best option. I'm sprinkling my seeds as I would normally do onto compost before putting a little layer back on top and pressing down firmly. I've made sure that the wool is really wet because it's gonna stay in place better and not spring up. So I've done spring onion, I've done basil, and I've done some Calabri broccoli. Um, I've done these in alpaca wool. I'm now gonna do the same in a peat-free compost, and I'm gonna do the same in sheep fleece, and then we'll just monitor them over the coming weeks and see which ones do better. So one thing that I have just worked out, dozy, is to soak the wool first. Um, so I've just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray. Just soak it first before you put it into the pot. And it's a lot easier than trying to water it when it's really dry to start with. So this is the day of sowing. So we'll call this day one. We've got the three here that are the sheep wool. We've got the three that are alpaca. And then we've got the three with the peat-free compost. So I'll come and do another update in a week. Obviously different seeds take different amounts of time to germinate, but I'll do a weekly update. So fingers crossed this is going to work it's say it's not something i've tried before i've seen people growing things in cotton walls got to be the same isn't it um it's going to be a much cheaper way of us sowing our seeds because buying um, a fleece off of a farmer is going to give them a little bit of money compared to what they would normally get to sell it for wool um and it's going to be cheaper than buying a bag of peat free compost and this will eventually break down you can put this straight into the soil um, and it'll eventually break down and create like a compost and it's got so many nutrients and things in it um, I'm using it on my vegetable beds as well, which I'll do another video for anyway I will come back on in a week or so and do an update see if they've started to germinate and I'll keep doing updates over the next month or two um, So do hit the subscribe button or follow me on Instagram for more updates